Good evening. My name is Sherry Cohen. Welcome to Burnt Mills Elementary School's 2020 Virtual Promotion Ceremony. I want to personally thank all fifth grade scholars, families, friends, and Burnt Mills staff for joining us this evening to celebrate our wonderful fifth grade scholars as they promote to the next level of their academic careers from elementary to middle school. I will speak on behalf of all fifth grade teachers that we are beyond proud and grateful to have worked with each and every one of our fifth grade scholars this year. I feel extra grateful because Mrs. Williams and I had the privilege to teach some of you twice while at Burt Mills. From third grade to fifth, it has been such a pleasure to watch each and every one of you grow to be more responsible, caring, and brilliant scholars. Although our year didn't go as expected, we have many memories in the schoolhouse, as well as new memories on all the Zoom sessions. This year certainly will be a memorable one. Let's get started in celebrating all of our accomplishments this year and reflect on all of our experiences here at Burt Mills Elementary School. I'd like to introduce our proud principal, Dr. Stacy Ashton. This evening, I bring you greetings and well wishes from my home office. Scholars, I know these past three months have been challenging for you as you've had to adjust and accept so many changes in such a short period of time. Your home has become your school where you engage in online learning. You now greet your teacher every morning on a computer screen through Zoom instead of face-to-face. -face. You haven't been able to play with your friends or see your family in such a long time. And now you're having a virtual promotion ceremony. Pretty crazy, right? I know. I know this is not what you hope for, but it's what we have to do to stay healthy and safe. Trust me, better days are ahead. Eventually, you will be able to see your family and friends. This too shall pass, and you will come out on the other side stronger and better, or what we like to call burnt mill strong. This evening, we celebrate you and all of your accomplishments, as well as the good times you've experienced at Burnt Mills. This promotion is especially sentimental to me because you are the class that started kindergarten the same year I became principal of Burnt Mills Elementary School in 2014. We have been together for six years. We are Burnt Mills strong. I have seen all of you grow up right in front of my eyes. Going from little five-year-olds in the kindergarten hallway, learning how to share, making new friends, remembering your pen number, riding the bus, and learning how to read, to now. Student leaders, fifth grade student leaders of the building, who've served as role models for our kindergartners, you've helped out during lunch and recess, You've led school tours as ambassadors, and some of you are serving as safety patrols, and so much more. You are Burnt Mill Strong. I am so proud of each and every one of you. You have left your footprint at Burnt Mills, and I will always remember the class of 2020. You are Burnt Mill Strong. Each of you has a special gift and unique talents that set you apart from others. As you continue to learn more about yourself, remember this, you were born to stand out and not fit in. Mrs. Michelle Obama said, you have to find the tools within yourself to become visible. That's the first step to standing out scholars. Find out what makes you unique and discover who you are. And don't think you have to do all of this alone. Your family will be there to support you every step of the way. And when you make mistakes, and yes, you will make mistakes, they will be there to help you. I promise. I am here for you as well. Scholars, please keep in touch with me. Email me over the summer. Let me know how you're doing. 
I want us to stay connected. My future scholars, I am expecting nothing less than excellence from all of you. You got this. You can do it. You are ready to soar to new heights. You are burnt mill strong. In closing, I would like to share one of my favorite poems with you by Maya Angelou called Amazing Peace. In our joy, we think we hear a whisper. At first, it is too soft, then only half heard. We listen carefully as it gathers strength. We hear sweetness. The word is peace. It is loud now, louder than the explosion of bombs. We tremble at the sound. We are thrilled by its presence. It is what we have hungered for, not just the absence of war, but true peace, a harmony of spirit and comfort of courtesies. Security for our beloved and their beloved. We, angels and mortals, believers and non-believers, look heavenward and speak the word aloud, peace. We look at each other, then into ourselves, and we say without shyness or apology or hesitation, peace, my brother, peace, my sister, peace, my soul, peace, my scholars. Congratulations, class of 2020. May your days be filled with peace, love, and success. Now go forth and be great. Sending you a virtual big hug from Dr. Ashton. I'll see you soon. Welcome students, families, and staff to the fifth grade promotion. I sincerely hope this welcome finds you safe and well. Congratulations to the Burnt Mills fifth grade class of 2020. I can't tell you enough how much we miss seeing you every day. When we saw each other last in March, at the time none of us could imagine we would not return for the remainder of the school year. While we're all experiencing an unprecedented event, history does tell us that this too shall pass at some point. With so much going on in the world, I wonder how it's viewed from students your age. I imagine it can, it can seem scary and uncertain, but scholars know that things will improve. As you continue to grow and move on to middle school, I challenge you to begin to think about, if you haven't done so already, how are you going to help improve the conditions in your community when it is safe to do so? Many of you feel like you may be too young to have an impact on your, on your community, but you can. Small deeds for others can have big and lasting impacts. You will inherit a country that will continue to become more global. Thus, your ability to work with others who may come from different backgrounds than yours will only grow as the norm. So today we won't focus on the fun times that may have been missed while not in school, but begin to think, plan, and implement goals for yourself moving forward. Today is a special occasion in your journey, but the best is yet to come. I also would like to take a brief moment to thank all of your teachers and your, our parents for their partnership over the years. And always remember scholars, once a Burnt Mills Eagle, always a Burnt Mills Eagle. Congratulations, you did it. To all graduates, you've earned it and you worked so hard to be at this very moment. Despite all obstacles and these trying times, your commitment to your education has not gone unnoticed. You should be very proud of yourselves. This event marks the transition into the next step of your journey. My name is Lanisha Collier and I am a former student of Burnt Mills Elementary School. I attended Burnt Mills back in the early 2000s, so quite some time ago. I was an avid reader and loved to take part in reading sessions and classroom activities with my former teacher, Mrs. Quimby. I also used to read to the principal who would let me sit in her office and would read aloud to her. I still like to read to this day. As you go on to your journey in middle school, ensure you listen to your teachers for a thorough understanding, take notes, enjoy time spending class, enjoy meeting new people, and never ever be afraid to ask questions if you aren't knowledgeable about a particular topic or subject. Raise your hand, seek assistance. Your teachers are there to help you every step of the way. When I graduated elementary school, I was so thrilled and excited to now be referred to as a middle schooler. I engaged in summer reading and also prepared myself for more work as you now are a step up in the school environment, so you have to be more goal-oriented. I will tell you, it's not gonna be easy. You have to put the work in and you have to test your might. 
There will be times where you are unsure about something or you have fear of failing. When this happens, you turn that negative into a positive. First things first, we don't always get things done right the first time. We go through trial and error, right? So as we go through trial and error, we found out what our strengths are and what our weaknesses are. And this is where we begin to develop our confidence as we learn from our previous mistakes. Example, you fall, you get back up. You're playing basketball, you missed a basket, but you say, hey, I'm gonna make it this time. Or you don't get the grade that you expect or that you want, but you study harder the next time. You continue to keep your head up when you feel down. No one's perfect, but we're all worth it. So your worth is your dedication to learning and how you overcome challenges. Remember that. Education develops our minds and furthers our capabilities. Education will unlock so many doors for you. You just have to apply yourself, which you are more than capable of doing. It is also an amazing tool which you can use to change the world. Whether you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, a firefighter, or anything else, it's important for your careers and your life. You never stop learning. There's always something new to learn, and there's always something to be taught. Even for me, I'm still learning things. Sometimes we think we learned enough, but the truth of the matter is we have so much more to learn. Your brain strive off of new information every day. So when you navigate your mind, you turn on keys, which is used throughout your lifetime, you begin to develop and store knowledge, even memories. So when you remember what you were taught in first or second grade, your brain has surged. You remember what you did. Let's say colors, shapes, um, addition, subtraction. You know what those things are and you know how to calculate. Use these tools to keep your mind energized and continue to rise above. So I want to leave something with you. You determine your success and you have full control over your outcomes. So do all you can to be the greatest you. Take in everything you've learned and you will achieve beyond measures. So I want to say congratulations to all of you and best of luck in your future endeavors. On this day, we say goodbye. As our chapter closes, we stand up tall for the dreams ahead of us, and never should we fall. On this day, we start a new beginning, as we look ahead and look up to the great things that we accomplish. As we look forward and set new goals, we try out our wings and see what lies beyond. On this day, we celebrate the teachings, the memories, and the friendships that have brought us where we are now as we say farewell to today and step into tomorrow. Good evening. Thank you for joining us as we present certificates to our fifth grade patrols. Before I begin, I would like to say on behalf of myself and Ms. Sano, congratulations to all of you. Each one of our patrols has done an amazing job and we are truly going to miss you all. Now to present the certificates. Samuel. Maliha. Hayden. Gabriella. Jisbel. Gabrielle, Baruch, Robson, one of our fifth grade co-captains, Darian, Chloe, Dagmuit, Sienna, Liliana, Vivian, Brenda, Jocelyn, Rafaela, Lorena, Elizabeth, Aboma, Millet, Kamaya, 
our other fifth grade co-captain. And Fatima. Again, we just want to say congratulations to all of you and we wish you nothing but the best in your adventures in middle school. Hola, buenos dias. I would like to take un momento to congratulate our Spanish Immersion Scholars. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished in these past six years. You have learned it all, and you have learned it in Español. A famous doctor of language named Frank Smith once said that one language sets you in a corridor for life. Two languages open every door along the way. Best of luck in middle school. You are going to have such fun and make amazing memories. Enjoy the journey and always continue learning and continue with languages. Our immersion graduates are Hayden Adams. Benjamin Arevalo. Luis Arevalo. Agripin Atangana. Gisela Ateo. Gabriela Blount. Will Carey. Gabrielle Day. Brielle Gilliam, Matty Jallo, Cayenne Jones, Grant King, Sienna Cullman, Raiseli Liriano, Vivienne Martin Mulkey, Annabella Melgar Escobar, Isabella Morgana Tarifa, Jocelyn Morgana, Imani Engala, Peter Nielsen, Emilia Updike, Joseph Rempel. John Rogers, Elizabeth Romero, Natalia Samuels, Noah Temenak. Felicitaciones a todos. Good afternoon, Burnt Mills family and friends. My name is Mr. Lotz, and I am proud to announce the recipients of the Burnt Mills Excellence Awards for the 2019-2020 school year. The Dr. Stacy Ashton Leadership Award is presented to scholars who are motivated to do better by building, motivating, excelling, and striving within the community. These scholars consistently lead Burnt Mills through their dedication to both personal and academic success. Samuel. Lorena. Fatima.
Noah. The Mary Mack Hoffman Core Values Award is given to those scholars who embody the six pillars of character, trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. Stayana. Baruch. Gabriella. Miriam. The Soaring to New Heights Award is awarded to scholars who demonstrate character consistent with the Burnt Mills motto, Soaring to New Heights. These scholars are clear examples of aspiring for academic and character excellence. Serenity. Cameron. Elizabeth. Darian. The Troy Clark Community Building Award is awarded to scholars who strengthen classroom community by modeling self-awareness, valuing diversity, and healthy relationships. Rafaela. Lota. Joseph. Rizelli. Our final awards are the Academic Excellence Awards. The Academic Excellence Awards are given to scholars who demonstrate strong academic merit through exceeding the end of the year MAP benchmark in both reading and or math while earning A's and B's on their report card. Maliha. Robson. Joseph. Sienna. Kamaya. Isaac. Hallelujah. Malet. Congratulations to all this year's recipients of the Burnt Mills Excellence Awards. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Fry. I'm the ESOL teacher for fifth grade at Burnt Mills Elementary School. And this year we want to recognize our multilingual students with the Multilingual Scholar Award. So this award is being presented to students who have shown exceptional academic effort and perseverance in fifth grade at Burnt Mills Elementary School while often learning in a language that is not their first language and certainly not their only language. So without further ado, I want to present the Multilingual Scholar Award for academic effort and perseverance to the following students. Angelina Umansur, Maud Sarpong, Daniel No, Raed Nasser, 
Liliana Maldonado Diaz, Amira Kamal, Anderson Guzman Saravia, Kiran Digombe, Lota Diacumpa, Brian Bolanos Ramirez, and Ravia Amadze. I want to thank you all for all of your hard work and for the honor of working with you and getting to know you this year. I wish you and your families the best of luck in the future. Greetings, fifth grade class. I am so excited to have the opportunity to be able to leave you with a final message before we end school for the year. I am super, super proud of all of you, and I know you'll all do amazing in middle school. It has been such an honor and so exciting and fun to be able to grow with you since you were third graders, and I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. You all are so strong and so amazing for being able to go through this distance learning experience like true troopers to finish out your fifth grade year. I know that it's been difficult not being able to partake in so many activities that were really important and exciting to you as fifth graders, but you have so many more awesome and amazing experiences ahead of you for when you go to middle school. So don't forget about us. Make sure you come visit and let us know how you're doing and congratulations. Congratulations, fifth grade. I am so proud of all of you. I know you all have been through a lot these last couple months of fifth grade, but also you have grown so much since you began elementary school. I am excited that you are my first graduating class. I had a great year working with all of you um, and I'm really gonna miss you, but I'm looking forward to hearing about all of the great things that you do in middle school and beyond. So good luck to everyone. Congratulations. Miss Sean's homeroom. Zara Adesina. Rabia Amadzai. Jasleen Barnes. Dream Cobbs. Baruch Desi. Lota Diakumba. Kieran Degombe. Nathan Kapsmer. Uriah Lofton. Jonathan Marquez Panachos. Andrew Martinez. Savannah Miller. Sarah Mulliam. Ryad Nasir. Daniel No. Lorena Petties. Serenity Pittman. Dion Sales. Hallelujah, Tespa Mariam. Angelina Umanzor. Giselle Ventura Rivera. Jeremiah Ward. Malet Yared. 
Victoria Zalea. Miss Williams Homeroom Class. Samari Agba Bell. Naravo Bea. Jenilee Butrum. Jisbel Sabayo. Miriam Sila. Jomia Doe. Darian Field. Chloe Gil Rosales. Osanachi Igwe. Keba Jimbara. Trinice Knight. Mary Ellen Lante Lare. Anthony Marquez Panachos. Isaac McConan. Brenda Molly. Giancarlo Ramirez Izaguire. Darby Steger. Aboma Takale. Andrew Talmani. Joseph Ventura Rivera. Allison Villatoro. Matthew Wale. Kamaya Yurenki. Fatima Zanabdina. Congratulations. Miss Cohen's Homeroom. Samuel Abate. Maliha Abdo. Rauda Abdullahi. Imani Garba Amadou. Zachary Apaya. Brian Bolanos Ramirez. Stayana Edwards. Robson Faisa. Gustavo Garcia Gomez. Anderson Guzman Saravia. Zara Janae. Francois Kalume Tabulenga. Dagmawit Casa. Amira Kamal. Liliana Maldonado Diaz. Marvin Martinez Sosa. Jamie Miller. Rafaela Akui. Marquez Ramirez Nachos. Maud Sarpong. Basaru Sengor. Renasha Singh. William Vargas. Cameron Weinberg. Miss Gu 
Guzman's homeroom class. Hayden Adams. Benjamin Arevalo. Luis Arevalo. Agrippine Atangana. Gisela Ateo. Gabriella Blount. William Perry. Gabrielle Day. Brielle Gilliam. Maddie Jallo. Kyan Jones. Grant King. Sienna Coleman. Rizelli Liriano. Vivian Martin Mulkey. Annabella Melgar Escobar. Isabella Morgana Tarifa. Imani Angala. Peter Nielsen. Emilia Updike. Joseph Rempel. John Rogers. Elizabeth Romero. Natalia Samuels. Noah Temina. Congratulations, fifth grade scholars. Hey, Burmell scholars. I wanted to congratulate you on completing your fifth grade year at Burmell's. I am so proud of you. I know this is a year you're never going to forget. I watched you grow and develop your thinking all year. We had so many special experiences together. My fondest memories are of how excited you all would get to answer a question or participate in a lesson with your friends and learn something new. Brent Most Scholars, I hope that you have a safe and fun summer. Pass the time with a good book, practice your math facts, go outside and enjoy the outdoors. And most of all, I really wish you the best of luck in middle school. I love and miss you. I'm going to miss you so much. Take care, everyone. Estudiantes, qué orgullo que tengo en verlos pasar a middle school. Um, espero que continúen con el español, que tengan mucho éxito. Trabajamos mucho. Uh, me gustaría verlos una vez más y ojalá que sí se pueda. Um, pero sí. Les, les espero todo lo mejor, trabajen duro, son buenísimos estudiantes y bueno, mucho, mucho orgullo de haber, haber trabajado con ustedes. Dear students, fifth grade students, I am so proud of you guys. You are going on to middle school. I wish you all the success and that you continue working harder. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you. I wish that I'd you know, gotten the chance to see you again. Um, and I love seeing you guys all the time. So just on to bigger and better things. Best, best wishes for, for you guys. All right, you did it. Hello, scholars. It's been a crazy year, hasn't it? Your fifth grade year has now been defined by virtual learning. Oh, wait. Hello, scholars. 
It's been a crazy year, hasn't it? Your fifth grade year will now be the term. No, no. Hello, scholars. It's been a crazy year, hasn't it? You guys persevered through online learning. You are now ready for high school and college. No, stop. Smile. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you done? I'll try it. Take 15. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, scholars. It's been a crazy year, hasn't it? But you persevered. I'll let you in on a little secret. I had difficulties this year as well. I did this speech over 20 times. I did. And I kept doing it and doing it and doing it, just like you did for classes. And you kept trying, kept trying, messaging your teachers that link isn't working, it's not letting me in. Miss Williams, I can't hear you. Your microphone is, is not working. You're, there's an echo. The same way you struggled through trying to get into Zoom this year. I struggled making this video, but guess what? I took a note from you guys and I persevered. I kept trying and trying and trying again, even though the easy thing to do would have probably seemed like quitting, but it's not easy. Well, I'm gonna miss you. I won't say good luck, because you don't need luck to do well. You need exactly what you already have, and that's drive. Perseverance, the desire to, to strive and to be successful. Now, are you ready for this? Time for an exit ticket. You sure you're ready? Okay, so your question, what does it take to be successful? Now, if you ask yourself that every day and then take the steps you need in order to answer that question, I promise you, you will be successful. Now look at your parents, look at yourself and know that you couldn't have done it without each other. So thank you parents, siblings, family members, and Burt Mill staff. We could not have done this if we hadn't been working together the whole time. Enjoy sixth grade. See you soon. Love you guys. I know I can get this. I know I can. Practice, determination, perseverance. I know I can do it. Dad, come on, we gotta film the video. You're right. I'm running out of time. Good evening, Burt Mills family, friends, staff, and students. My name is Mr. Lotz, and I have a few words for the, to share with the Burt Mills class of 2020. Let me start by saying how very proud I am of each of you. I had the pleasure to teach two sessions of math to a talented group of students. We challenged each other every day. We learned so much from each other every day. We were a team. There were days we cheered and celebrated our successes and other days tears fell because we did not reach the high expectations we set, not just for ourselves, but for our team. On each formative and quarterly assessment, we beat the county average. We took pride in the fact that we earned it. Our growth mindset told us that it's through hard work and perseverance that we achieve great things. Well, COVID-19 came and shut down our practice and playing field, room 15A. But it didn't shut down our spirit and it didn't break our desire and willingness to be the best we can be. Scholars, it's now time to take flight from the narrow halls of Burt Mills and soar with grace, beauty, strength, and confidence of an eagle as you move on to the next phase of your academic career. I can't wait to read the next chapter. All right, put the music back on. Wow, fifth grade zoomed by. I'm surely gonna miss seeing your faces every day in school and on Zoom. I know you guys are gonna do so many great things and I am so proud of you. You are gonna do great in middle school and beyond. I'll miss you and I love you. Good luck and have a great summer.
If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can't count on me Like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can't count on me Like one, two, three, I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh.